Dan Radcliffe, hey. Tony nominee. Yes. Yeah, I've been waiting know. to say that a long time. How about, have you been waiting to hear that? Um, You know, not particularly. I, I think everyone else has this perception that I might have been, but I really, uh, like, I've never done a show before where I've like, I've certainly never expected it before. Yeah. Um, it's really nice that other people felt that I should have been, but I definitely didn't necessarily feel that way. Um, but it's also really nice to have it happen this time. Um, yeah. I'm, I am really proud of this show and the work we all do in it. Yeah. So to be nominated with Jonathan and Lindsay is really does, and Maria obviously like it does. It feels really special. Yeah, I you know it's funny. I never thought of you as Charlie. And then, and then once I did, and now I just I can't picture anyone else. You're oh, so cool. fantastic so in this role. Thank you. But it's so great when, like, when when I, a role I thought I knew really well, and then it's just it's just like a beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I I um, it's funny. It's actually one of the roles that I have actually read and thought like, oh, I'm really right for this. I don't know what it, I can't exactly tell you why. Um, but I definitely like the first time I read it. I was like, oh yeah, I I I, I like this guy. I feel like I. I can hear my voice doing this part. Um, yeah. yeah. What, what? How do you feel about? I mean, obviously, the show has been an incredible success, yeah. and for longtime fans of the show, like myself, it's just been incredible to watch audiences finally understand it. That's how it feels to me. It's yeah. like wow, everyone is really like understanding what's happening, and I really do credit you and your co-stars. Oh, I mean, the work you're you. doing is beautiful. I'm, I mean, yeah, I, I would say a huge amount of it is also, it's Maria's vision for the show yeah. and what she's like, because I saw this production in London yeah, in 2013. And I was just, and that was the only, that was my entire relationship with Meredith. I didn't know about the history of it or, or any other production. So I had just always seen it as a show that worked really well. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's a, but it, and I think that there's, I think a lot of, recency bias in people talking in in terms of some of the ways that people have talked about this production and i think there will be other great productions of merrily sure. and i think if we're a part of yeah. showing how great it can be then that's we're all so um honored by that yeah your work has, has really well will live on in that sense yeah, well we hope so you you have done so much great theater and it's been so exciting just watching you dedicate so much of your life to doing great theater. What do these times and these runs on Broadway mean to you personally? I know you've had a lot of things in your personal life now as well. Yeah, I mean, well, a dad I, and... I mean, it's uh, doing theater, I think, has made me a better actor. It's also, I feel like there's something about theater and something about Broadway specifically as well that is that has been really important for me in my uh, journey and like my career after Potter um, and yeah I, I think I've learned so much about also about comedy like doing how to succeed uh, yeah. you know doing uh, we did that for 11 months and yeah. getting to do a comedy every night in front of a live audience yeah. I feel like taught me so much about how how all that works I'll never get over the choreography I mean, me neither. I, I honestly, I actually rewatched the the Brotherhood of Man a performance we did at the Tonys not long ago because we were seeing a bunch of the How to Succeed folks were hanging out, and so I, I was like, I watched it. It was top of mind, and I was again, I was like, wow, I I still can't believe I did that. It was really cool. How how emotionally hard will it be to say goodbye to your uh, co-stars? I mean, when you, Broadway families are one of a kind. Yeah, it's going to be, I mean, I feel like we should offer a kind of preemptive apology to anyone who sees the show in the last month. Yeah. Because um, it's going to be virtually unperformable at times, <laughs> um, just in terms of the amount of crying. I think I will actually probably hold it together quite well until the very last few shows. And then it'll start to, uh, yeah, it'll start to get really, really emotional. And, um, but you know. All good things, um, and 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 it's uh, yeah. Well, uh, I'm very lucky that this show has brought so many wonderful people into my life. Some of the best friends I have in my life are people that I got to know through Equus and How to Succeed, and the show is definitely you know no exception. I'm I'm very lucky to have, have met everyone from it. Wonderful. Thank you so much. No, thank you. So great to see.